Alright, what's up guys? Thanks for stopping by my channel. Today we're going to be tackling another tutorial video, this time on matching exposures between two clips in the same area uh, shot at different times. So let's say you're shooting something with a setting sun, you're not paying close enough attention to your camera, and you let the shadows get a little bit too dark. That's going to result in your footage kind of having a look where some of the shadows are deeper than the other one and some of the highlights are lower than the other one. So what we're going to try to tackle today is matching the depth of the shadows between each shot. So this first shot I have of Tanner riding the ledge is shot a little bit more bright than the second one. What we're going to do first is go over to our color tab up top. Make sure you're in the color tab. That's where you're going to want to do all your color correction. And from there what we'll do is add a adjustment layer. So once you've made your adjustment layer, just drag it over your footage. And you're going to want to make a cut between the two clips. So hit C for a shortcut and just click between the clips. All right, once you have both of your adjustment layers, you can, uh, you're can you gonna wanna start by adjusting the highlights and the shadow. So to start out, we're gonna color correct the clip that uh, is actually exposed correctly. I always start out with a clip that's exposed correctly and kind of try to adjust the messed up one from there. So what we'll start with is the shadows. We're just gonna do a real quick grade on this. Pull the shadows down and then uh, follow up by pulling the blacks down a bit. So they sit hovering just around that uh, 10 line in your RGB waveform. What we'll do from here is adjust the highlights and the whites. I always start with the highlights because I don't really like boosting the whites too much. I like to raise those to around 90. Uh, from here what we'll do is adjust the saturation a bit. Like I said, I'm just doing a quick grade on this. This is not a final grade, I'm just doing kind of a quick example to show you how to match the shadows and the highlights. All right, so once we got the shadows and the highlights adjusted on this one, we're gonna head over to our other clip which already has kind of lower shadows. From here what we'll do is drop the shadows again. So they sit right around that 10 line, right about there. I'm actually gonna bring the blacks down a little bit, but not too much. Otherwise it'll start to get too dark compared to our other clip. From here what we can do is uh, same thing, adjust the highlights. We wanna bring those up, like I said, around the 90 line. This one I'm actually gonna pull the whites up a little bit in because it's pretty underexposed. Uh, from here, we'll do the same thing uh, we did with the last one and pull up the saturation. And now let's jump back and forth between the shots. So you can see this one, uh, if we look at the waveform, I pulled up the highlights a little bit too high. So all you gotta do is go back over to your highlights, pull them down a little bit so it looks a little bit more like your other clip. What I like to do is try to look at something that's consistent between them. So for this one, I'm looking at kind of the shadow and this side of the bricks, as well as the other side of the building with the bricks. Basically the biggest thing with matching exposures is trying to get the shadows and the highlights to match. So still looking at the two clips, it actually looks like we could probably drop the shadows a little bit more in uh, our other clip. We'll go back into our other clip, the shadows down a little bit, pull the blacks down a little bit, and that's looking pretty good. There's also a little bit of a color change in this video, just because the daylight is shifting so much and kind of changes the temperature of the light, but I'm going to separate that into a different video. Uh, so stay tuned for that. I'll probably release that tomorrow. But yeah, that's pretty much how you're going to match exposures between two shots. You really just want to pay attention to your RGB waveform on your left side. And uh, as long as those kind of match between the two shots, you should be all set. All right. Thanks for watching this video, guys. Uh, if you enjoyed it, it'd be awesome if you'd leave a like and stick around for future videos. All right. Later.